Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So Vanquish Soul got more support, as we've seen a couple of days ago. They got a new trap and a new monster, this one. Um, Jialong? I hope I pronounced the name right. So it's a new fire attribute, new fire monster for uh, Vanquish Soul, and that's kind of big. Because as you know before, like this new support, Vanquish Soul got only like one good fire being there. You know, Stratos are monster searcher, Raisin. Uh, there's the other one, the, the hand trap one, which... Most people didn't really run in the main deck. The only reason why you would run that is uh, the fact that it would be a searchable fire attribute for, you know, reveal, pop something. So that could be important. But now this one. This one is, um, is solid. It's really good. It has like a hand trap like effect that as soon as you use one of your Vanquish Souls um, reveal effect, you can uh, immediately drop it to the field. So, and it has kind of like a big attack stat as well. Is it all well over 2k? But its most important effect I feel is, is that um, it can search. It's a quick effect as well. And by revealing, again, the second effect by revealing two uh, fires, you can search basically any Vanquish Soul card from your deck. And it's kind of big, simply because, again, it's a quickie. And you can use it during your turn and during your opponent's turn. So it's basically a double search and, you know, pair it up with Raisin Search during your turn, during your opponent's turn, with a potential draw, you know, with their level 7, during your turn, during your opponent's turn. So, you know, you know with, with, like, I was about to say, the perfect hand, uh, it, it, you know, it, it could really snowball uh, really quickly into a lot, of, a lot of advantage for, you know, this particular deck. A uh, problem though is, is that I've been, um, you know, playtesting the card currently at 2, 3 is probably too much. 1, I I don't know, I think 1, I, I think you need 2 of them simply because you might want to drop 1 to the field and then, you know, potentially search the, uh, the second copy from the deck to have another fire attribute in your hand. Uh, I've been changing the deck lists throughout testing and um, I, I eventually dropped Prosperity, I dropped Imperm from the main deck for more Kurikaras, again Fire Attribute and the Solid Hand Trap going second. Um, what else? Um, small, I think Small World as well in the main deck, more Small World uh, that is. So, um, so a couple of matches against Horus, the new Horus cards, which are kind of disgusting. With uh, Runic as well as, you know, with like, uh, what is it, Yugen, you can instantly make um, uh, Chaos Angel. Again, you don't need any tuner, and I, I believe both of them are, yeah, the Magician one is, uh, what is it, Dark, and I believe Yugen is Light. So it gives, you know, your Chaos Angel full effect if you go for your one of your Horus cards and Yugen, the Dark one that is. Uh, so anyway, I all oh, right. This one you saw that what was it? Uh, destruction was drawn. Not one, not two, but three. That that's a bummer, um, because again, that leaves me. At least leaves me uh, going for Zeus and against you know something like Runic. That's uh, that's a lot. So the thing here is, is that with the new support, it is, I'm not running the new trap. The new trap, I don't think it's that good, but uh, the new fire one is definitely main like worthy for Vanquish's soul. The problem though is, is that how many copies and. Uh, the thing is, is that, and that's the reason why you're not really running Fenrir or uh, the Kashira package, is, is that it might set you up for Nibiru. And again, Nibiru is kind of popular in today's format, and I, most of the time, and that is the same problem I have with this new uh, Vanquish Soul monster, is, is that if um, that card is, you know, uh, combined with your regular Vanquish Soul combo, as in with Raisin and the Spell Searcher, most of the time that's four summons, you know, including the Link. And then you're having your, you know, your new fire attribute. Do you really want to risk a nib Nibiru, right? Probably not. So it's it might be more wise that you keep that fire in your hand for next turn, during your opponent's turn. Again, if you reveal something, you can drop it to the field. And then with two fire attributes in hand, you can get another search. I think that's a better play. Always, especially in this format, always respect the nib, right? Uh, what was this? Going first or going second against? Uh, I think going first this time against Horus, Horus Runic, and uh, no battle phase definitely hurts, and that's something that you you know you definitely need or want against Vanquish Soul. You need to get rid of their monster board, otherwise you know their advantage will be just far too much. Problem here with the Horus cards is, is that if you leave them phase upon the field, um, if you let's say pop the sarcophagus here or remove it from the field, then all of the Horus cards trigger. What was it? Draw cards, pop cards, depending on which were phased upon the field. So that's why, uh, quite conveniently, this uh, archetype has like, a, you know, a searchable Book of Eclipse with hardly any downside. 
So now this lets me go for game. So that's really short. Uh, next one against Kashira going first. So the normal summon getting imperm, that's fine. Sadly, I can't punish that with uh, the level seven ride. So this is all cool. I can go for the link one and you don't go for a reason. And this is the thing, oh, okay, no, no. The other way around, it's probably better simply because now I do have a double fire and that makes it so that during my opponent's turn, I can again, that, that's so cool. That's why this card is so cool and good. Just again, during your opponent's turn immediately, maybe immediately, you know, talent or thrust, right? I immediately reveal two to get another search. And then, uh, you know, as soon as your opponent commits to the field, you can drop Raisin to get another search and another job at level seven and potentially pop something, right? Unless your opponent kind of forces out your link. Um, you know, during main phase one. So here again, that big, <laughs> that big, big book of moon and uh, the tribute summon for him, and that's you know just more than enough, or eventually will be more than enough. I'm a huge fan of the the, the Doggeran, right? I've seen lists. What was it? Running the the which one actually? Like the the, the Earth one, Commandus, right? I think so. Or is it the Wind one? No, probably. I mean, wind doesn't make sense, right? Uh, it's either the earth one or uh, fire, and I believe fire is a bit better. You can it, it also bounce at bay because of its low defense, and of course, especially with this new support, I'm, I'm constantly begging for more fire attributes in my hands. And that's why, again, I, I maximized on Kurikara. I think I had Kurikara at 1 in the early builds. Uh, early deck testing, but eventually when it was put it back to 3, simply because again, fire attribute and going second gives you a lot of advantage, potentially. Or it helps you, you know, break boards from your opponent against the most popular decks nowadays. Uh, Troll is an insane hand trap. Like, really, really insane. My hand is okay. Um, having level, level 4 Spell Searcher, level 7 to a 4 draw, Kurikara is an insane draw here. So, Mad Love on field. Now, I, I can punish the Imperm, but Veiler, okay. Now, like, look at how much interruption there is. And I believe the Evil Twin uh, is getting dropped to the field as well. Yeah, there it is popping. Um, what is it? The level 7, but I, I try to get a beneficial extra special summon. And that's still a thing with Vanquish Soul, is the um, potential if you hit their normal summon, they might not be able to play. That's true. Can Kurikara helps out the special summon plus a big beat stick and every turn, once per turn, multiple oh, monster reborn, right? Again, kind of an insane card. And the fire attribute is just made for this deck, I feel. So drop the level 7, get another draw, so again snowballing into more advantage. And then during the end phase I should be able to special summon on the other, what is it, the, um, the pink one. Should be right, yeah, for another draw. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, evil twins, imagine. So full hand and it's game over, right? So last example, uh, going second this time, and um, here I guess... Um, yeah, Droll again kind of keeps the Kashira deck somewhat in check, even though the end board is uh, pretty solid as well. What is it? The Arise Heart and double the Shangri-La, right? Plus one uh, set, which we now see is indeed the Bluff Duster. But my hand is good, and eventually I dropped Prosperity from the main deck. It's conflicting with the level 7. Uh, I prefer Small World a little bit, but I mean... Pot of Prosperity could dig into more options, right? So it is fun. So drop Raisin, obviously I want to hit uh, Rise Heart, right? And, uh, you know, arranging this chain links just like that, that I can bounce the Arise Heart or destroy it, right? And then uh, bounce my Raisin with the level 7 for an extra draw, double fire. And, you know, because of the reveal effect, I can drop the, the new one again, getting another search. So, you know, you're quickly snowballing into so much advantage. And again, that's why this deck... Um, is definitely going to get better. I, I don't see it leaving our format, uh, you know, uh, this soon. Uh, this is uh, maybe a small mistake on my part. Uh, probably should have gone for the the spell that gets something back from Banished Pile, uh, because I eventually changed my mind and go for or went for Phoenix to pop the the continuous spell. Right? I mean, it's not going to matter in the long run. We we saw the back row being what was it? The, one of the Kashira cards. And uh, this is just far too much advantage, right? Excess Code Talker could hit the field, more draws, more special summons, yeah. So, insane card, really insane. 
Uh, I kind of like the deck. No Prosperity. Nip is a stable, I feel, especially now with Kurikara. The fire, I'm constantly begging for more fire attributes. And if you have that uh, fire attribute hand trap in hand, it makes this new card much more, at least much better, much more effective by getting that beneficial search. So again, like always, feel free to leave suggestions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a sign out. Peace.